it just keeps getting better every beach we go. I don't know how they do it, but... Welcome, today we are at the airport of Dubai. We are about to embark on our first of two flights that we are taking today. We are going to a place that not many European tourists go and that perhaps it's not the best season to visit, but it's surely a very, very exotic and interesting place. Let's go. Equipment within the airport premises. Realmente adoro este avión. Delay and it has been some three very intense hours here at the airport in Delhi. As we didn't have internet, we didn't have the confirmation email. They wanted the actual confirmation email. The problem was we didn't have Wi-Fi and any Wi-Fi worked here at the airport. We started asking people for Wi-Fi, either if they have the code or either if they could lend us some uh, mobile data. No one could help us until like 30 minutes later. What was supposed to be a four hour day over here in Delhi, in the end, we didn't have time for anything. We were just here at the boarding gate waiting for the flight. It's 4 a.m., but we've made it. So we just arrived and our bags are not here. They have lost our bags. We got a great problem. We complained, we talked to the only guy that was there from Air India and he told us he didn't have any clue where they were. He did several calls, he made us fill several um, forms, he only gave us 30 euros as a compensation, which is the maximum that they can give us, according to Air India. And he told us that we should come to the airport like the next day, without knowing any clue of our bags. He insists that our bags are still in Dubai, without any confirmation of that. We are pretty sure that our bags arrived to Delhi, but they weren't put to the flight of a port bearer, but instead they were put to the baggage claim in Delhi. He insists not, he insists that our bags were in Delhi because of security issues, that our bags had some kind of like batteries or any like computers which triggered the securities, uh, security system and were left there in Dubai. So the problem is we don't have um, either clothes, either, you know, our basic kit for uh, hygiene and stuff. We had a very specific schedule here in Andaman and now because we have to change our plans, we might also have to change our entire trip here, not only in Andaman, but also in India. We are at the streets of Port Blair, which is the capital city of the Andaman Islands. We just got some money from an ATM. Now we are trying to get to the ferry office in order to get our tickets for our ferries. Although we still don't know anything about our bags which are, are still lost probably in Delhi 3,000 kilometers away but yeah we are trying to stay positive and just continue on with our plans and whenever the bags appear then it's fine We just got our tickets to the ferry, that's a nice start. Now we're here at the marketplace and we're going to try and get some clothes for Matthias and some more things for our daily life, which we don't have.
we just bought ourselves some clothes and some shampoo, shower gel to live for three, four days. This is us trying to cross the street. One thing I'm enjoying a lot about the Andaman Islands is the fact that there's almost no international tourism. You don't see people from Europe or from any other part that's not India. In fact, this is one of the biggest uh, hotspots for uh, national tourism, but not international. And you can see that on the prices, on the way they treat foreigners. Uh, I think that's one of the best things about this place. Something very interesting is the fact that there are many, 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 many goats around the island. Like more than cows, more than any other animal. I've never seen this before. Along the coast there are many bunkers, which we believe are from the Second World War, but we are not sure. And behind the bunkers you can see the northern part of the island. We just received a very important message. They have just found our luggage. We don't know where, we don't know how, we don't know who, but they just sent us the, the photos of our actual bags. So I guess they will send them to us in a few days or whatever, but that's all we wanted to hear. They are safe and sound and they have found them. So, <sighs> liberation. Big win. Big win. We are starting our day today uh, with a nice breakfast. As I told you yesterday, they found our bags and they just told us that they are here in Port Blair. They just arrived, so we're gonna take them and then we're heading to the ferry to go to Havadok Island. It has very nice beaches and yeah, let's see how it looks like. Uh, the goat, the dog, and the cow. So I was at the bank now, we were trying to get some money and uh, for some reason, because I'm quite stupid, I left my card inside the bank. As I was leaving, two very honorable men approached me and said, hey, you left your card inside, so nice people in Andaman. Yes! <laughs> yes! Epic moment. <laughs> Look at it! Oh my god! So apparently our bags went to Calcutta. I'm from Calcutta to Port Blair. They they have traveled more around India than us. Wow. We are now at the terminal in order to get our ferry to... This is one of the main touristy destinations here in Andaman Islands. Check this out. This is the place where we are staying here in Havelock Island. Uh, it is very nice. Uh, I mean, the staff here are, are so friendly. Uh, there are many services like you can rent a bike, a, motor, a motorbike, and they have restaurant. It's just so, so, so great. And the price is very, very, very good. I think this room costs like 20 euros in total. We're about to enter one of the 10 best beaches in Asia. 
किसी आप से किसी प्रकार की बहनबाजी ना करें धन्यवाद have been now told to leave the beach like the water because uh, apparently it's forbidden to swim from 5 p.m. but but still it's probably the best beach I've ever been to good morning again from Havadok Island today we are going to the port because we want to buy tickets for Nail Island we were supposed to leave at 9 a.m. but as we wanted to spend more time here we are buying tickets for 2 p.m. the thing is they told us they don't know if we will have the tickets because sometimes that boat is cancelled so fingers crossed we got our tickets we're going to Nail Island but now we're gonna check out another beach which is in the other side of the island It just keeps getting better every beach we go. I don't know how they do it, but... In case you're wondering where the Andaman Islands are and why it is not very known between uh, international visitors, this is because it is located right off the coast of Myanmar, next to Myanmar, Thailand and um, Indonesia. It's way far from from mainland India from the continent but uh, after independence it was uh, led to the country of India and not Myanmar in this case um, for some reason it is not very popular between international tourists normally when you come to India you normally go to uh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, the Golden Triangle but these islands although they have a lot of uh, things to see are not very known between international visitors and it's mainly uh, just for Indian tourism that is why you don't see so many big hotels and uh, fancy things for international tourists but you see more of the local culture and the local people and more humble ways of uh, staying here but in the end I think it's better because you pay less and you see the actual life uh, of the people of Andaman Islands and you get kind of a really like sustainable tourism and uh, you can be at the beach where we were just a few minutes ago without almost any people which is very very nice and i think uh, it's a very nice place to go i just hope it doesn't get very uh, touristy oh hello now off to nail island A man on his bicycle has decided to take our bags to our hotel or that's what we think he's doing. He said he would do that for 100 rupees and he insisted like too much and we said okay fine but we are not sure he understood where we were going so there he goes with our <laughs> there he goes with our luggage <laughs> we don't know where he's taking our bags oh man like there he goes no! No! You come to me. No! Hello! Hello, you! 
Foto. Sí. This is our hut. It's quite expensive, um, but yeah, I think it will make it. Um, Wi-Fi is not so good, but the place is just magic. I will show you in a bit. What you see there, that's the beach. But beaches here are not sand beaches, actually. They are rocky beaches with some sand at the bottom, but it's not really a beach where you can go and swim. Sunset will be soon, so I guess we are going to watch it. Um, I don't know where, but I think there's a beach, an actual beach, a few meters north, so... Oh. Hey, little one. How are you? I gotta put him a name. We are now in Nave Island, which is the smallest of those islands you can actually visit in Andaman Islands. Um, so far it's the less touristy developed we've seen. It is quite small too. Here you can sense this, uh, this feeling of uniqueness and remoteness. And here, you can play cow football. At the back there are some kids playing um, cricket, which is a, a sport I will never understand. But in India, I think it's very, very, very popular. More than football, more than any other sport. These dogs have been following us for five minutes, but they seem friendly. As I told you in the Oman video, I'm very afraid of stray dogs, but this one seems nice. Helicopter, helicopter. In 2004, a tsunami struck the coast of the Indian Ocean, affecting mainly Indonesia, Thailand, but also the Andaman Islands. Around 2,000 people died and uh, the islands were pretty much destroyed by this uh, big tsunami. However, I think this area, especially uh, the right side of the island, was not too uh, affected. I think it was more on the western part of the island. The sunset is just around the corner. Let's go. This exact place is where the island ends. This is like a cape, it's called Sunset Point. So basically, from here we have one shore, from there we have another shore, and the waves clash right here. And that's why we can see these weird waves coming at me. The sun is almost set, but it is starting to rain. Check out these clouds. Look at that, <laughs> people are running. They know what is about to happen. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, Matthias. We gotta run. We gotta run. It's 4.30 a.m. Matthias just woke me up because, well, it's better if you see it. We've come to a place which is in the tip of the island, which is probably the most famous thing that you can see here in, in the island more than the uh, sunset that we saw yesterday. So let's see if we find it. There is meant to be a coral bridge anywhere near here, but we, we don't see it. We believe it's around the, uh, that cape, 
but as the tide is like too high, we cannot walk to that part. We couldn't find it, but at least the beach was nice. We are back in Port Blair after our beautiful trip to Havelock and Nail Island. Uh, we are enjoying too much these islands. We want to stay a little bit more and postpone for a few days our trip to the Indian subcontinent. Let's see if you're lucky enough. As we try to solve our problem with our flights, now we're going to Ross Island. It is one of the clearest examples of the colonial rule here in the Andaman Islands. This monument is built in the memory of those Andamanese Aborigines who bravely fought the Battle of Aberdeen in May 1859 against the oppressive and retaliatory policy of the British Empire. Change of plans, the island is only open uh, during the mornings. So, we are now trying to go to a museum. The Andaman Islands were used by the British for uh, sending the prisoners that they uh, made in India, mainly political prisoners, in order to, uh, to keep them in a place where they couldn't escape, and that was cruel enough. We are enjoying a well-deserved dinner. We have been able to move everything and extend our trip here in the Andaman Islands. So, cheers. We came back to the hotel where we stayed last time here in Havelock and they were so happy to see us and we were so happy to see them. And they gave us a room with Wi-Fi, which was everything we wanted, so. We went to do our laundry here in the, uh, in the island because <laughs> it's been already many days. It's better if we use this time we have now in the island, which is going to be two days, to do some housekeeping things and stuff. So now we're going to try and uh, visit the little town they have here, which is not a town, it's just like a, a, a village, but uh, it seems quite interesting. And that's something we haven't done yet, so let's, let's go. go. They told us there's a beach this way. Let's see if that's true. Like in many islands in Andaman, uh, the beaches change. Uh, for example, there are, oh, there are some dogs coming here. Wait. Hey! Oh, you're hey. cute! <laughs> As I was saying, uh, whether you can swim or not, it depends okay. on the tide. So uh, right now, this side of the island, when the tide is low, you cannot swim because you can see the rocks. But instead, in the other beach, in Radaganar Beach, the beach we were here like two days ago, uh, you, you actually can when the tide is low. You have to play with the tides and know when it's low tide, when it's high tide, if you want to swim. But anyway, it's beautiful. No, 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 don't touch me. Touch me. You're so little considerate with these animals. Our friend here has been following us for about one kilometer and a half, two kilometers. Because there, there are two mean dogs who are bullying our Him. friend. Yes. What you just saw was the only convenience store in the island and our friend, I think he's interested in my biscuits but I don't know if it's okay to give him, I don't know.
I bought these small bananas that I um, used to eat back in Cambodia. I really like them, so oh, it's. So good. More one. And our friend here. It's been already one hour and a half, maybe two kilometers or more, and our friend is still coming with us. We're currently in one of the best restaurants, the best restaurant actually, according to TripAdvisor, in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. They just took a photo of us and they brought us this printed photo for us, for free, for dining here. How nice. Good morning from Havelock. Today we wanted to go to the beach, but we didn't want to go by tuk-tuk, so we got ourselves some bikes. Just arrived to the beach and it started raining just right now. However, as the tide is still very, very, very high, we can wait a few minutes until we we get into the water. So it hopefully stops raining and we can enjoy our last days in Andaman. As I only have one more day and I have already shown you everything, this is going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I will leave you with some more footage of this last day. I hope you enjoyed this uh, destination. It is very, very unknown to the uh, Western world and especially to anyone outside India. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, hope you give Andaman a chance because it's really worthy. Thanks for watching and see you soon.